welcome back to Finding Wendy. Thank you very much for joining me again this week. I'm actually going to try and get the video out this week. I've actually tried recording now three times and every time the phone rang. So this is now take three. <laughs> okay, stay tuned for updates. And this week I'm going to do a get to know me tag. Uh, Mitchell in Minnesota and uh, the new me, new me in uh, Orangeville both did a uh, get to know me tag and I think they're great fun to do for a video. So stay tuned. Uh, some NSVs and uh, about my weight. So um, I didn't weigh myself this week because I pledged a, a while ago that I would only weigh myself once a month. And uh, so I'm sticking to that. So the next time I weigh myself is on December 20th. So originally many videos ago, I said I would weigh myself on my surgery date, which was March 20th. So the 20th of the month. So that's what I'm gonna do. So last time I weighed myself, I weighed 213. And um, so I've lost 237 pounds so far. Um, as you all know, I had my surgery two, almost two years ago, 18 months ago on March 20th, 2018. And um, I started this whole journey at 450 surgery. I had, uh, I had, I had to take OptiFast for a month and I lost 25 pounds that, with that. And so uh, the day of my surgery, I weighed 375. So my goal is to be in Wonderland by Christmas, but it's it's really it's really becoming very difficult. Um, I'm trying to walk more. Here's a video of me walking today. Uh, so I actually uh, walked uh, the longest I've ever walked uh, post surgery, post hip replacement surgery with my walker. So I walked about 1.3 kilometers to my house and then up the street and back with my dog, Lucy. And that went very well. Uh, didn't have any pain in my hips, which is great. I had more pain in my arms from holding the walker. And so what I'm trying to do now is walk around the house without my cane. And to uh, just now I walked up and down the hallway without a cane as well, but I still waddle like a penguin. So I'm trying to figure out how to not waddle uh, when I walk. And uh, I joined uh, Planet Fitness, uh, it's $10 a month, just a block away, and but it's not opening up until the end of December. So from now until the end of December, I have to uh, find ways to do more exercise. And I'm starting to do some stretching, um, my arms. I, I can't put my arms any further than that so that's uh, something that I'm working on as well with stretching and stretching my legs. And uh, yeah, so um, trying to get more limber. Uh, a friend of mine is going to show me some, some yoga moves. She's starting up a, um, she's going to start up a yoga studio here in Toronto, yoga for plus size women. So uh, she's a, uh, a certified yoga instructor and she is going to and I and I'll, I'll talk about that in another video as well uh, she's a uh, post um, bariatric patient as well she also had her surgery at Toronto Western Hospital so I'm going to now continue on with the get to know me tag so stay tuned so I'm gonna do this completely impromptu or sight reading because uh, it's more fun that way and uh, as I mentioned Mitchell in Minnesota and knew both did a get to know me tag and uh, so there are uh, 30 questions. So this uh, hopefully won't take too long, but uh, let's get started. So first question number one, where did you grow up? Well, I grew up in Don Mills. Don Mills is uh, a suburb of Toronto, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Don Mills was uh, Toronto's first planned community. Uh, so my parents, they went to the C&E back in the 50s or was it the 60s? And there was a display there at the Better Living Building at the c &E about this new planned community called Don Mills. So my parents um, bought a house in Don Mills on Moccasin Trail. And that's where I grew up. Where do you, uh, question number two, where do you currently live? I currently live still in Toronto, but downtown Toronto. I live very close to... Uh, I live in the Gay Village and I, I live right across the street from Maple Leaf Gardens. Who is your first best friend? My first best friend was a girl named Lisa, who is a piano player. 
and we went to junior high and high school together and we were great friends through junior high and high school and we she was a musician i was a musician and we were kind of oddballs together we partied together we smoked pot together <laughs> But uh, we kind of grew apart. We had a big fight and grew apart. And since then, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> so that was my first best friend. Question number four, how tall are you? Well, I've shrunk. I have osteoarthritis in my back. So I used to be 5'5", five, five, and I think I'm 5'2 or 5'3 now. Question number five, dogs or cats? Definitely dogs. I'm a dog person. I did have two cats when I lived in Amsterdam, but I don't like cats. I, you, you know the saying, uh, dogs have masters, cats have staff. That, that's basically definitely what the issue was. I think they're cute. They have their, their moments, but I hate, hate the, the litter box. I cannot stand the smell of cat pee. I think it's the grossest thing in the world to have an animal poo or pee in your house. I think it's totally gross. Uh, number six, take a sip of coffee here. My uh, horn mug. Um, funniest moment throughout high school. Oh, that's a difficult one. Funniest moment. <sighs> okay. I guess a funny moment because I had a hard time in high school. I was I was uh, always in the band room. I was overweight. I didn't have a lot of friends, and um, didn't have the best experience in high school. But I would guess the funniest moment was I was I took theater arts and I was in the school play. I was one of the leads in the school play, and we did a, a, a comedy piece called Orpheus and Eurydice. And uh, I was Eurydice, and uh, Eurydice died when she choked on a chicken bone on her wedding night. So it was a pretty funny production, and I really enjoyed uh, taking part in it. It was actually my first love to act and to go into acting. I wanted to go to Ryerson and continue on with uh, an acting career, but unfortunately, my uh, marks in school weren't good enough to get me at, at the time into acting school. So that's why I chose music instead, which uh, turned out to be a great decision, I would say. All right. Uh, what year were you born? Ah, easy. 1959. There we go. Uh, are you in or have you gone to college? Yes, I went to the Royal Conservatory of Music. I went to University of Toronto. And I went to the Sveilink Consultorium in Amsterdam, which is the conservatory in Amsterdam. What is your favorite drink? Coffee. I love coffee. I'm crazy about coffee. That's my favorite drink. Uh, I don't really drink alcohol at all. Um, sometimes I have a sip of a beer, but... Um, I haven't had any pop or Diet Coke or anything like that in about four or five years. So uh, I would say coffee is my most favorite drink. What is your spirit animal and why? My spirit animal is the lion, for sure. And the reason why the lion is courageous, is strong, is a leader, um, and uh, can be okay with being on his own. So that's my spirit animal, for sure. Uh, you're wearing perfume. What scent is it? Oh, well, I always wear Bleu de Chanel. It's uh, an eau de toilette spray. Uh, here's a picture of it. And um, it's my absolute favorite smell right now. And uh, it's a bit musky and um, kind of male-ish, but I love the smell. I love, love it. Um, okay, what? <laughs> Uh, oh, wait a minute. I dropped, I missed something. Oh no, there we go. What is your favorite perfume? Coffee or tea? Coffee? Coffee. So question number 12, tea or coffee? Coffee. Absolutely coffee. Question number 13, what are your life goal? Uh, that's difficult because it's changed. My life goals have changed to lose weight, to keep the weight off their goals, uh, to have hip replacement surgery is a goal. My life goal I would say my life goal right now is to make 
enough money to have a comfortable living uh, situation. Um, I want to be able to travel more, which costs more money. So my life goal right now is to get a job or be in a job situation where I'm actually making as much as my age. My sister is an accountant and she said, you should be making the same amount of money according to your age or more. So you, I should be making $60,000 a year and I don't, not anywhere near it. So uh, that's basically a life goal and uh, getting myself healthy, getting new hip, walking better and losing the weight and losing more weight. Um, hopefully some better paying jobs will come, come towards me in the future that I'm gonna pursue and look into. Um, number question number 14, what sports do you play or have you played? I love sports. The sports, the one sports that I love is tennis. I love tennis. I love watching tennis and I love playing tennis. I played tennis when I was young and uh, I'd love to try and play tennis again with this new hip. So tennis is, um, the sport for me. Um, 15. Have any books you read changed your life? Well, there's one book that I read that is changing my life a bit as far as the information about my mother's concern. And it's a book about um, Audrey Hepburn. It's called Dutch Girl. Here's an image. And um, in this book, it, uh, she, it, uh, Audrey Hepburn's mother is Dutch and she was friends with my mother and her sisters in Arnhem. Uh, during the war and there's actually a picture in this book uh, I talked about this before there's a picture in this book of my aunts uh, my mom's sisters with Audrey Hepburn in their backyard that was taken by my grandfather and so basically there was a very uh, traumatic evacuation of Arnhem when the Germans came in and um, all that information is in the book so it is quite interesting and moving to think that this happened to my mother as well because she didn't really talk about it that much um okay question number 16 what is your favorite movie that's a difficult one remember i said i was going to do this spontaneously so i have to really think a movie that i watch over and over again i don't know sounds kind of cheesy but the one movie that comes to mind is the sound of music I love that. I love the mo I love the movie. It's um, it's a fantastic movie, and the music is beautiful, and it's um, it's like a Christmas tradition in our family to watch the sound of music at Christmas. So I would say that is my favorite movie. Um, who is your favorite YouTuber? Hmm. That's, uh, that's a tough one. I have many YouTubers that I watch, uh, bariatric YouTubers. Um, and uh, I don't really have a specific favorite YouTuber. I really enjoy watching Jordan Shrinks, though she's not a bariatric, but she has lost weight. Uh, but her, fun her videos are very funny. She's very cheeky. I, I would love to be able to be as free as her and say all these shit fuck words that she uses all the time but it's just not a part of my repertoire but it's a part of her repertoire and she's she's a very smart woman so i would say jordan shrinks is fun to watch and uh and so she's my favorite youtuber i guess um okay so where what question am i on here so favorite youtuber oh question 18 do you speak any languages and how well any other languages other than English? Yes, Dutch. I speak Dutch and I speak a little bit of German. So uh, enough German to get by and to get to understand and to ask for a cup of coffee. Uh, but I, flu I speak Dutch fluently. Um, no, question 19. Are you single or taken? I'm single. Question 20. What is your idea of a dream date? My goodness. I would say go on a cruise. That's a great dream date. <laughs> a cruise. That's a great dream date. Okay. Mm. Uh, how long was your longest relationship? Five years. Five years was my longest relationship. Uh, 22. How would you describe your fashion sense? Um, 
gay? <laughs> I don't know. I love plaid, uh, which is considered kind of, uh, like I like in the winter to wear my plaid shirts and I have quite a few. And um, uh, it's all, they're nice and warm and fuzzy and comfy for the winter, not for the winter months. And um, I don't like flowery patterns. I like plain color clothes. Um, I like bright colors, but I don't like much with patterns. The only patterns I'd use are plaid patterns. So um, Ellen DeGeneres style is the best way to describe my fashion sense. I love the way Ellen DeGeneres dance, uh, dresses. So that's my fashion sense. 23, what is your go-to hairstyle? Uh, wash my hair and let it air dry. That's it. <laughs> That's what happened this morning. Uh, 24, how many siblings do you have? I have three sisters. Three sisters. I have one older sister and two younger sisters. 25, what is your go-to fast food order? In the old days, my go-to fast food order is burger and fries. For sure. From Harvey's. Harvey's hamburgers, absolutely the best. I love the Harvey's cheeseburger with only ketchup on it. No other condiments, just ketchup, grilled cheese, hamburger, and fries with mayonnaise, the Dutch way. That's my go-to fast food order. And as a matter of fact, when I was in the hospital for a month with my triple hip replacement surgery, I was so sick and tired of the hospital food that at one point I just used, I downloaded Uber Eats app and I ordered Harvey's hamburger and french fries to be delivered to my hospital bed in the hospital, which they did. And I had half of the hamburger and three fries, but it was heavenly. <laughs> so uh, uh, question number 26, do you use a PC or a Mac? A Mac. PC means piece of crap, as far as I'm concerned. I have to use a PC at work, which I hate. Uh, I can't stand it, and it's, I'm just not, I know, I don't like it. But I'm a Mac person. I've been a Mac person since the Apple Classic came out back in 1991 or 92. Um, your most memorable, uh, question number 27, your most memorable vacation memory yeah, 1969, uh, we drove to New York, the family, and we took the SS Staten Dum, which is a Holland American Line ship from New York to Rotterdam. And as we were leaving the harbor of New York, the first man landed on the moon. So uh, they were broadcasting it live in the ship on the television screens. And as we were I was, I can very, very uh, easily remember that as we were floating by the Statue of Liberty in New York, the first man landed on the moon. That is the most memorable vacation memory I have. Such an incredible moment. The other day, my colleague at work mentioned the anniversary of the shooting of uh, JFK, uh, but I was too young to really remember that because um, I I was three. Um, yeah, so that was my vacation memory. Question number 28. Are you a morning, evening? What are your morning and evening routines? So my morning routine is to get up and now I take a shower again, which is great. And uh, I um, take out my dog. So that's my morning routine. And then I come back and I feed my dog and I make myself a cup of coffee. And that's my morning routine. The evening routine is I work until uh, 9.30 at night. And then when I come back, I take out my dog. And then I uh, watch an hour or two of television, usually something on Netflix or on HBO or on Prime Video. And um, have a late night snack like a protein bar. And do you have any bad habits? Yes, 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 yes. I am still very addicted to chocolate. I have to really watch it. 
Um, I haven't gained any weight, but I've noticed this eating of chocolate habit has creeped back into my lifestyle. And um, as a matter of fact, yesterday I was at the Eaton Center and they've opened up a brand new Swiss chocolate store. Here's a picture. And uh, I did buy a little piece of chocolate. It was about this big not very big. It was about 200 calories, 250 calories for that piece of chocolate. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. And, uh, but, which is okay. So yeah, bad habits, chocolate. I love chocolate. Number 30, tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. Mm, I bite my nails. I've been biting my nails since I was I don't know, six years old, I think. Um, so I don't know. Biting nails is, uh, is it, a, is it a, a sign of stress? Is it a sign of boredom? I bite my nails and I watch TV. I don't know. Could be either or. But anyway, that's question number 30. So that's it. I did them all. Not bad. 17 minutes. Uh, that's the get to know me tag. So uh, I wanted to tag uh, some people um, that, uh, that also can do the tag as well. Uh, little Kansas Kitty is somebody that I watch all the time. Uh, Mitchell in Minnesota, he already did the tag. Uh, Numi in Orangeville, she already did the tag. Uh, VSG Joe, Daniel's Journey, Jesse Cakes, Grace Gets Gastric, and Minnie Me in Tennessee. So those are the uh, YouTube bariatric people that I watch. Um, on a monthly basis, once a month or something like that. And, uh, yeah. So if you, uh, if I haven't tagged you and you want to do the tag, go ahead. And if you have any other tag video suggestions, let me know what, uh, you know, you can make up your own questions and just post them in the comments below. So thanks for watching. That's it for this week. And, uh, we will see you again next week. And, uh, we're getting towards the, the Christmas season which is great. Uh, the Toronto Christmas market opened up here. It's a beautiful, beautiful market and uh, highly recommend if you've never been there to go to the Toronto Christmas market if you live in Toronto. And uh, yeah, today's a nice sunny day. It's kind of cool, four degrees. Uh, there's no more snow on the ground. The snow all melted away. So um, yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching and we will see you again next week. Bye-bye for now.